How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to The Walking Dead game, episode 2, Starve for Help. And we are back to probably mop things up today in this session. If you don't know what a session is, basically, however long I sit down and play the game, and it gets chopped up into other smaller, bite-sized parts, and it usually ends up being about an hour. So, according to Dan, I only have about a half hour max, depending on how lost I get or whatever, but I only have about a half hour max left to go, so things should get wrapped up today, which would be cool. No idea when episode 3 is coming out. Uh, episode 2 took like two months to get out or something like that, which they said it was supposed to be monthly, but I'd rather have them uh, go ahead and fine-tune stuff rather than release a product that may be sucky. So there you go. What the hell? Dad, you can't get... Oh no, he's having a heart attack. He's having a heart attack. I didn't know that was going to happen. Oh no, he... Oh, I actually don't care. Now that I think of it, I don't give no. a shit if he dies. Dad, come on! Dad! Oh god, he stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead! Somebody help me! Fuck. If he's dead, he's we can eat him. Not dead. We can eat him. Oh, he'll turn into a walker. Has to happen, Lee. We gotta kill him. Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, kill I'm him. Sorry, I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're going to be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, three hundred pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back, Lee. No, we can't. We'll mourn him later, but right now we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He's not dead. He's dead. Uh. Yep. Maybe you're right. He's no, dead. God damn it! My dad survived worse than this. No, he's dead. Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. No, I didn't. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on, we know this guy's not going to make it. Yeah, he's dead. Remember what Ben said. Got to destroy the brain. Come on, Lee, I'm right about this. I know you've got my back. You always do. He is right about this God, because I hate me. Larry. I need you. Please help me. Come on, Dad. Nope. I'm going to pick uh, with uh, Kenny, because I don't like Larry. Oh You're right, Kenny. Let's get this you over. You fucking monsters! Both of you! No, nope, fuck him, he's it. dead. Sorry, no, no, no! The only way. <laughs> get off me! Don't do this! Oh, shit, get off of her! No, no, no. I mean him! He's got to die! We have to kill him, he's a racist asshole that hates me. We must kill him. No. Wait, Musk, yes, Please. fucking smash his head with one of those cow lick things or salt lick things, whatever the fuck they were no. called. I think it was a salt lick. Smash his head in. No. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh my god. <laughs> well, there goes Larry. That is a shame, isn't it? Oh. Yeah. That is Damn disgusting. Us. I'm sorry. I Don't know. you fucking touch me. <laughs> Clementine. I well, you know that sucks for Larry. You okay? Why, Lee? Lily said he wasn't dead. No, he was dead, Clem Clem. He was dead. He he was dead, Clementine. But what if he wasn't? Clem Clem, he was, was dead. I, I promise. Thank you. There you go. I promised. I pinky sweared it. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else, something hopeful. Like what? Uh, sure. How about your walkie-talkie? Those pretend talks with your mom and dad, don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. All the times. Out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. Well, not yet, but uh, I have a few things to uh, go over. I know in the comments people were saying, you should, you know, side with Larry and save him, or whatever the fuck his name was. Uh, yeah, his name was Larry. Because, you know, it'll be worth it in the end. But you know what? This is a game that's going to last five episodes. I don't think by killing Larry they would be like, Well, you know, you killed Larry. I guess you can't play the other three. Thanks for the money, asshole. Bye. I don't like Larry. This is a game about certain choices, and I don't like him. He was an asshole. I'm glad he's dead. I don't care if he was going to put a fucking million dollars into my real bank account. He's dead. I didn't like him. I don't care about him. I'm glad he's dead. I'm going to look at the asshole. And see what this ha this has to say. What was he gonna say? Get away. Nope, nope. I just need to. I told you to get the fuck away. I need his wallet for money. Okay, well I guess we won't be getting that. So, there's that. I don't like Larry. 
You know, if I could kill Duck too, I'd kill Duck because I don't like Duck or Larry. And now Larry's dead, so that's 50% complete for me trying to kill people. I highly doubt that Duck will die because he's a kid. And generally, kids seem to survive almost everything. But that's been changing a little bit over time. He very well could die at some point, and I hope he does. But anyway, for this video, if you enjoyed it at any point, or enjoyed me smashing Larry's head in because he was an asshole, if you could do me a small favor and leave a like or a comment or something of positiveness, something like that. But if you didn't enjoy it, then I'm sorry that you hated the video. I'm sorry that you severely disagree with my choice to kill Larry, because I know people really get upset when you don't choose what they choose. Even though I don't really... I mean, if I'm, if I'm going to watch someone play something, I'd much rather they make different choices than me. You know, just because it's interesting to see what people would choose. So, see what this air conditioner is all about. Behind this unit, maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. Clem, Clem. I don't know, Lee. Seems like a long shot. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. Do I saw that multi? -tool? Yeah, the multi tool. Good thinking. Of course they took it. Shit. Oh, never maybe mind. There's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, uh, rock won't help. Do you have a coin? Mm -mm. Does anyone have a coin? Uh huh. Yeah, that's not gonna work. It's not coming off that way. Well, that's a damn shame. If you can remove these screws. The AC should come down easily. But until then, I need a coin, and I gotta figure out who has a coin. Maybe Kenny has a coin, or what is that? That looks like a coin. I don't know what that is. Maybe Larry's dead body had a coin. Well, she doesn't have a coin, and I can talk to Lily real quick. Got a coin, Lily? Sorry, oh, dude. Yeah. I'm sorry. You Don't know. Don't talk to me, Lee. Don't fucking talk to me. Uh huh. Do you have a coin? Uh, no coin, I guess. Larry would have wanted. Fuck you! You think he wanted this? Of course yes. Not, you don't know what he wanted. You never knew him. You never gave him a chance. Maybe not. Maybe maybe I should have tried hard. But I know he loved you. He wants you to get out of here. I think I may have found a way out of here. But I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver or a coin or something. No. What about him? Yeah. I know this is a terrible time. Loot the body. Back at the motor inn. Larry. Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. Loot him. In other words, my father's more useful to you dead than alive. If well, yeah. He was alive and had the key to getting us out of here. Do you think he'd keep it to himself? What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Yes. Your permission. <sighs> do what you have to do. Well, hot damn, I'm gonna loot this fucking asshole. Give me your money, asshole. I'm gonna be making bank oh, off of you. Boy. Ew. Uh, any idea which pocket he keeps his change in? Sure wasn't his skull, that's for damn sure. Fucking vulture. We need the coin to get out of here. Why is everyone so fucking illogical? We need it to get out. He was an asshole, so I killed him. I'm gonna fucking, what? He's got a back pocket. Let me check that back pocket. That's the first pocket I want to still carry this wallet. Ooh, damn, yes. Let's get some bills out of that bad boy. Uh, well, I guess I got his wallet, sure. Play some pocket pool here. Ooh, yeah, yeah, that's squishy. My mother's. Don't worry. I'm not taking it. He's got some squishy pocket pool. Oh, never mind. Rigor mortis set in. Two quarters. And a dime. Dime would probably be more useful, because it's smaller. Unless it's a big ass fucking screw. Anyway, now that we've looted that asshole's corpse, back to the air conditioner to get the hell out of here. Hopefully they ate duck in the process. I really, really hope. So, uh, use the coins. Ooh, look at that. That is good thinking there. That is some good yeah. thinking. One more should do it. You are resourceful. You are really resourceful here. Whoop. Hot damn, so what, I got 60 cents off of him? They say I got two quarters and a dime? I'm gonna be rich. Well, there's our way out, Lee. Uh, yeah, Clem Clem can fit. Clementine can fit through. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. Okay, uh, 
Let's see. Yeah, you're brave enough, Clem Clem. You got this. I'm scared. Remember the treehouse? You held out for days. And I saved your life. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <sighs> okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. Do I have to take control of Clem Clem now? That'd be like uh, Claire and Sherry from Resident Evil 2. Dropping those Resident Evil references. Doesn't look like we get to play as her though, unfortunately. She's been captured! <gasps> You're supposed to be more quiet, Clem Clem. What the hell is your problem? That better be her. God's sake, Lee. Didn't even get to say goodbye. It's not my fault. Get in I was in dick bag. Stay here. Take care of Lily, okay? I will. Why can't I just take one of those salt box things or whatever the hell they're called and just smash the dude out here in the head with it? Seemed to have worked pretty good on old Larry back there. Ooh, it's nasty in here. There's that bear trap, yeah. They, that was their bear trap, those assholes. There's a noose here? Why is there a noose? I told you there was something up at this room. It's a goddamn human slaughterhouse. Now we're being all stealthy. Do 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 do. What's this? Do 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 killing weapon. Yeah! I'm gonna hook someone's fucking eyes with these. What do we got going over here? Oh, there's like human hearts and shit. Ugh, I think I'm gonna be sick. Like a jar full of intestines or something. All right. What, what about this thing? God, what's wrong with these people? I hope I can just kill like all these assholes. What is this? Ooh, cattle prod. I don't know why I said that really weird, but a cattle prod. Yeah, there you go. I was from Minnesota there for a second. Oh, what? Huh? I guess you can only take one weapon. There's a fucking sickle back there. A bloody tub. And eh. what weapon should I take? Should I take the cattle prod? That would be the non-lethal thing. I'm gonna take the fucking sickle. This thing's gonna mess someone up. Hot diggity damn, put that cattle prod back. There you go. We're taking the sickle of this bad boy. We're talking sickle time so what's here. The plan? That dumbass is so caught up in his own rant that we could probably sneak right up on him. Just stick behind me in case anything goes down. When we get to the front, grab his gun. Sounds good. 